Some arcanos can be found on the structure plate boundaries. This is where one tectonic plate is dragged underneath another tectonic plate, begins to melt and forms a pool of magma. As this pool of magma grows, it heats up and pressure increases. As a result of this, the magma will move towards the surface and it will eventually erupt onto the surface and form a volcano. Volcanoes also occur at constructive boundaries, where two tectonic plates are moving apart from each other. This movement means magma can rise to the surface between the two tectonic plates. Once the magma erupts onto the surface at a constructive boundary, it will cool and solidify. This process means more crust is made and the plates are slowly pushed apart. Shield volcanoes are often found at constructive boundaries. These volcanoes have shallow slopes because the lava is runny and therefore runs away from the crater before cooling. Another type of volcano is composite volcanoes. These have steep slopes made of ash and thick lava. The thick lava travels a short distance before it cools and therefore steep slopes are formed. One main feature of the composite volcano is the layers of ash that are formed. These layers gradually build up after each eruption, with the new layers of ash continually settling on the top of the old layers of ash. Another feature of volcano is secondary vents. These vents are joined to the main vent and form when magma moves along weaknesses in the volcano cone to reach a surface on the side of the volcano. When a composite volcano erupts, lava bombs are projected into the air. These lava bombs are made of solid pieces of magma which have hardened in the vent of the volcano but are shattered when the volcano erupts. After most eruptions involving thick lava, magma will settle back into the vent. This magma will cool and harden to form a plug. Over time, pressure will slowly build up underneath this and prepare the volcano for another eruption.